Hi, it's Susie Geiger, Yoga with Susie. I thought I'd bring you some restorative yoga. So it's just that, it's a way in which your body can restore. And you use a series of props. Um, what I have underneath is a bolster and I bought it at Amazon. You don't need to have a bolster, you can take a whole bunch of pillows and I literally have taken apart people's couches and bed pillows and all different kinds of pillows, blocks, whatever you have, you can use. So I want you to notice there's a pillow under here, there's a pillow on top of the bolster and in between, because the idea is to make yourself really comfortable. I'm gonna start to lay back and the first thing I want to pay attention to is my back and I need to make sure that that feels okay. There's a bit of an angle here and it feels a little deep to me. So what I'll do is bring this pillow up, maybe cross them. And this is what you have to do in the beginning in a restorative pose. If you notice, I'm trying to get my butt right at the edge of that bigger pillow, getting that, pillow, that other pillow underneath my back. And then I slowly start to come back. These are for underneath the hips. And then I'll lie, lie back. So you see my head is back a little bit. So I'm gonna go grab another pillow. And this is how you do it. You just start to play. I have a whole bunch of props off to the side here and pillows to figure out how I'm gonna make myself comfortable. You might need a different setup. I just want to give you some ideas of what you can do. Restorative yoga is one of my favorites and I did a separate certification to learn all about it. And one of the things the teacher who I studied with taught me was use as many props as you can get your hands on. So you see I'm kind of holding that in place and now I might take that pillow and for me that feels much better so you see I have this underneath my hips and that's the other thing that you're the only one who can decide. You might want the blocks under there and you might like it like that. For me that feels way more supported. So the idea here is to check in with the different body parts. I always start with my back and I'm trying to make sure that I feel completely supported by all these props that are underneath me and that my hips feel really supported. You can take it as far as having pillows under your arms, which also feels really nice. You can just let the arms open up. You can cross your hands here. For me, this feels better, and then you can see I'm getting an opening through my chest. So this is one idea, and quite frankly, I could stay here for 10, 15, 20 minutes. I probably wouldn't hold it for more than 30. I'd like to give you an idea about propping under my arms because I think it's worth you seeing. So I'm gonna grab another pillow and again, get myself in the spot where my lower back feels good, my neck, and then I would take this pillow right up here and bring it down and you can see the difference and how supported that arm will feel nice and supported if I find that right spot for it. And I would do the same thing on the other side. This is called goddess pose, Supta Baddha Konasana, in case you're interested. So now I'm gonna pull this all apart and show you another. There's a couple different things that you can do. Um, a lot of people tell me that it seems so complicated, all this stuff, but it's really not. So I want you to watch how quickly I can set this up now in a completely new pose. Put this down here. So I'm going to bring my butt right back in the same spot. I'm going to put that block so my feet can be on it. And now here's a different pose. I feel completely supported under my back and watch what you can do. I can start to scooch myself so my head, and I'm sure you can see that now, I'm able to open up through the chest and let my head and neck be against gravity 
If you have a really tight neck and shoulder, sometimes this feels really good. For some people, it's too much. So you would just scoot yourself back down. I love this. So that took me, what, three minutes to just rearrange the pillows and put myself into a completely different pose. Which <sighs> feels so good. I don't want to take myself out of it, but I will to show you another. So now I'm going to show you how you can twist in a restorative way. And I have to say, this is a really great one because a lot of people with back pain, this might be the pose, um, one of the first pose, poses I would put someone in if their back is bothering them. So actually, I don't really need that pillow. So I'm going to bring one knee right on top of the other. I want you to see, again, I'm trying to come, I'm always using this highest edge as a guide for where my lower body, where my back is going to rest. And bring one knee, in. if you need to do it like that, that's fine. And you see I'm rotating my body so it's over the bolster. So you can have your head this way to start. I'm going to tell you that the whole idea here is to turn my head in the other direction. But that can be a lot if you have a tight neck. So if it feels really intense to do this, maybe do it for a second and then turn yourself back around. So in this particular pose, what you would do is hold it between five and 10 minutes per side. I enjoy turning my head in the other direction. And you can have your hands on pillows here also. I like to just let them hang here. And I can feel it in my back. But you have to do both ways in this pose. So I have to come up. So you see I'm just turning myself around getting my hips right at that point, bringing the upper part of my body forward and turning. And now you can really see that twist in my back. Again, if your neck is really tight, you might be here. You might have to go back and forth. And so you would twist both sides. And again, you can do between five and 10 minutes per side. And then I would just hang out here. <sighs> Feels so good once again. Showing you guys this is great, but what I really want to do when I show people this is put myself in the pose and stay here because it's amazing. I don't think that this can completely replace your regular yoga practice. I think this is good in conjunction with the regular yoga practice. Or if you feel like you're a little injured or something's really achy, that's when I pull this kind of stuff out. I also use these restorative poses sometimes as a way to get into meditation because it's so calming for your body. So I'm going to show you um, one more pose that's probably one of the more complicated poses. And it's a child's pose. So you see I'm keeping myself, I don't need quite that much propage, but I have two pillows underneath my knees. If you cannot sit in this pose, it's hero's pose in yoga, you can take a block and sit up on the block, which will not give you some room so you don't have to bring your butt back. And but then you need to take all of these pillows might even need some more, depends again. I'm gonna do this because you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to bring all this stuff so that when I come forward, it's all in there and helping support me. And then you can just relax down into, this one's one of my faves. I said that about every single pose, haven't I? But they're that amazing. So I, I feel like I could spend a little bit more time rearranging and moving stuff around to work for my body. And I wanna make sure to repeat that you don't need to do this the exact same way I'm doing it because what works for my body is not gonna work for your body. 
you need to fi find the right arrangement of pillows and blankets and bolsters or whatever you're using so that it, all, it just needs to feel comfortable for you. So even me just taking that pillow in a little bit further more into my belly felt better for me. So the last pose I'm going to leave you with, and probably one of the easiest setups that you can do, is legs up wall. And it's probably um, one of the most relaxing, and you'll see why. I'm just going to put my legs straight up here. Any wall in your house will do. And I'm just, very simple prop. And what I'm going to do is come sit on the side of the bolster and I'm going to use my hands to support myself as I just swing myself to the side and then come rest down. And this is called Viparita Karani. This is very relaxing because of where my head is. The further your head is back, the more you're going to be able to relax. So. I'm just trying to relax through my neck and shoulders. I will tell you about this pose that when I first started doing it, my legs would fall asleep. And my teacher told me, if your legs fall asleep, just bend them, you know, maybe just rock it a little bit, and then you can take your legs right back up and relax. And then to bring yourself out of it, I would just roll to the side. I would pretty much do that with all the poses to come out, roll to the side like I just did and use my hands to come up to sit. So what was that, four or five different poses I just showed you in a pretty quick amount of time. Again, you can hold them for between, I wouldn't hold it for less than five minutes. I would probably go for between 10 and 15 minutes up to a half an hour really simple. Anything you have in your house, blankets, pillows, you don't need this bolster or the blocks. I hope you enjoy some of the restorative poses because they're really awesome in conjunction with your yoga practice. Thank you for watching. I really hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's that little button down there. Just click it. And you can check out all my other social media. Go to my website, my blog, any questions, suggestions, bring it on. Thank you so much for watching Yoga with Susie.